When was the last time you got an echocardiogram for your heart? I'll be getting my heart checked today at MATC in the M building. I asked Angela, a student in the program, what echocardiogram is. It's non-invasive and it's an ultrasound of your heart. It basically allows us to see your valves and the function of the heart, make sure you don't have any congenital anomalies or any, um, it, we are able to check your blood flow, so we are able to get your blood pressure. Basically a summary of what's going on in the function of your heart. It's very diagnostic and it's used all the time and for diagnosing people with different congenital and anomalies. I also spoke to Sandy, another student in the program, and asked her what kind of computers or machines do they use, and what do they show? If you're out and working in the real world, there are computers that have software that apply the information that we obtain, and those computers, which are you know, basic computers that you see every day, um, with um, the visuals and the ability to do uh, measurements on top of what we had seen on the ultrasound machine itself. It's really kind of cool because it shows the internal structures of your heart. You actually see valves opening and closing. Um, and depending on the view, you can see all four chambers of your heart moving at once, where you see all the valves moving and all the... You don't see blood flow unless you put color on it. And then you can see, you know, what the direction is that the blood is flowing. Um, so you actually see internal structures. You see um, the inside of the walls. Um, you can see... Uh, any type of um, masses or tumors, if there are any, any kind of clotting, um, uh, what we call stenosis or sclerosis, where if the valves are thickened, uh, so you can see disease quite well. I spoke to Rachel, a student in the program, about the classes and what they actually learn in the classes. The different knobs on the machines will change the picture. Uh, we have a dysfunction class uh, teaches for the E and A waves, uh, what's happening to them in each stage so that we know if a patient is in um, normal stages or if their um, heart function isn't where it's supposed to be. And, and from that, they become volume overload of the heart. And uh, you can see that on the different waveforms we get from the echo itself. It's time for me to get my heart checked. I'm Casey Williamson reporting for Stormwatch.